everything that we do at the bottom of the ocean has to be either lowered there or picked back up. So hook load is actually the measure of what we can pick up with the draw works and the derrick. A seventh generation ship is generally 1,250 ton hook load. Our seventh generation plus or premium vessels, 1,400 tons. And then of course the eighth gen is another step up, 1,700 tons, which is the highest capacity today in the world. A 1,400 ton hook load does not mean that you can pick up 1,400 tons. So 1,400 minus the weight of the top drive, minus the weight of the blocks, minus the weight of the drill lines, you're left with right around 1,250 tons. So we can pick up a full 1,250 tons off of the drill floor with a 1,400 ton rated system. There's one extra feature about the seventh gen premium ships we have, and that is that the auxiliary side hoisting path actually has the same capacity as the main. This particular derrick is actually a four million pound combined with the aux and main. So you can put 2.5 million pounds on each side, but a combined total of four million pounds, you start really adding it up or compared to an 18 wheeler being 50,000 pounds. I mean, we, we have a lot of capacity that we're running on drill pipe and stuff. And when it starts adding up, you think about the poundage, it's, it's a lot of tons. The higher your hook load, the larger and heavier casing strings that you can run, right? And bigger casing, typically more flow rate, more barrels per day coming out of the ground. You can absolutely cut days off the well construction. So if every day that we help them shave off the construction of a well, that's a, a day of spread cost that they save. It's also a day of production that they gain.